Hey, tell me a little bit about what your goal is over here and what what has been your goal? Everything I've accomplished in life, I owe it to judo. Um, judo taught me to win, taught me to lose, it taught me about discipline, it taught me about taught me to be the hammer, sometimes to be the nail. I need you guys to get a partner, we're gonna run Dory. You are not trying to win. I just wanna see how you're processing your run Dory. We're a big run Dory school, we're a competition school, and it's important that we know that as you guys are progressing that you guys are able to defend yourselves and that you guys are doing the right things. Every lesson that comes around in life can be answered with a, with a judo question. For example, how can I go to the next level? The next level is easy. You show up every day, you train hard, you do what you're told, you perfect your art, and you will move to the next part. If you take that approach into life, it's the same thing. You know, sometimes you're gonna be the hammer, sometimes the nail. When you don't have experience, you better listen to your superior. Get that experience, but once you have experience, now you can start passing it on to other people, and that's what you learn, you know? Sometimes you get the promotion, sometimes you don't. Judo in back and continue their journeys, uh, even adults. So that brought me to actually to jiu-jitsu to be able to continue some of my uh, judo training. That being said, somehow, some way, after people started seeing my abilities in the jiu-jitsu side of things, they started getting curious about judo. And they're ah, oh, you know, you should uh, do a little bit of, uh, of uh, judo, teach us some judo. Once I started getting committed to coaching, um, I started liking it and enjoying it because it brought a different side that I had never experienced, which was more, mainly uh, the competitive side. Um, I was at Texas A&M, um, and that's all I ever knew, competition, competition, competition. Once I started focusing on the athletes, I decided to make it a goal that I wanted a place for athletes to train if they wanted to train at a higher level, a high-intensity training where they were not going to get punished by it. So most of the judo that we do here is no secret to anybody that it's uh, competition-based. We don't do very many katas. Um, we're not very traditional in that sense. And everything I teach is competition-based, competition-based. And whether people compete or not, because a lot of them don't want to compete, they're still going to learn that side of judo. And I just want to pass that on and create some black belts that are going to be able to pass that on. Now we have a good crew of guys. Today happened to be a promotion day. It was a special day. And I was very happy to see how many color belts uh, are coming up now that are A, adults, and that want to train hard. I don't assign rank by time. I know that if you do a certain amount of years, you should be a certain rank. Or if you learn a certain things, you should be a certain rank. The way I do things is based on merit. You're here every day. I don't care if, you're in, if you've been here four years. But if you've been here four years and you're only showing up one time every three weeks, I will not promote you. If you excel at how you're promoting, if you're going to competitions, winning, then you get rewarded for that. I have a small system that is not a judo system, and I tell my guys it's not a judo system, but I give them stripes because it is so hard, because they need to see that progress, that they need to see they're, they're progressing at that level. So my team has grown very slowly when it comes to actual rank, but the knowledge, by the time they're green belts, I really expect them to know their, their technique. The founder called it a way of life. How do you explain that way of life for you? Every difficult decision that I come across in life, I try to answer it with judo, an example. Um, a hard situation is coming my way. What would we do in judo? We would never face it head on, boom, and try to resist it. We're gonna accept it. It's coming towards me, that situation. I'm gonna move out of the way, let the bad thing go with the flow. So what does that really mean? Let's say I get fired tomorrow. I don't have no more job, no anything. How am I going to react to it with judo? What would you do with judo? That's probably one of the worst things that can happen in real life. First, you accept it. Okay. Today, today I got fired. Okay. Should I just sit there and do nothing? No, because if you sit there and you do nothing in judo, you get thrown. When that big power is coming your way, you have to accept it. Go with the flow, move out of the way. I accept it, I acknowledge it. Now what I need to do? I need to step to the side, look for another option, another job. Take that bad energy and turn it into good energy and say, you know what, next time I'm not gonna get fired. I got fired because X, Y, Z. Now I'm gonna use that against my next job and do a better job and work harder. And, and that's how I like to approach it. And I think the, 
the way that judo touches you, it's, um, it's unrivaled. This is very primal. Uh, the group that you're here with, the guys, they're literally fighting with you. These guys, if something happens to you outside, every single one of them, I guarantee you, will help you out. And knowing that there's a place you can go to each and every single day that has that support for you, it's unrivaled. We need that sense of belonging somewhere, you know, and then it clears our mind in, in a way. So, yeah, that's a, that's a way of life. Your profession is a petrochemical engineer? or uh, Ocean engineer. Ocean? Yeah, but I'm not really an engineer. I actually ended up on the business side of things. Oh, okay. and, uh, so very early on, um, I was lucky to be able to move through my career, partly because of judo and the, and the leadership that gets you. And I turned out to be more leadership positions kind of kind of job management and stuff like that. And never really got to be a good engineer. <laughs> so 